Guys, here is my super kanja ready. I'm going to eat now. This is my super kanja. How are you guys doing? I'm back again cooking video today. We're doing quick super kanja. So follow how I'm doing it. Here I have one teacup of water. One teacup of water. Ben could do not. Ben can't see tea in the whole ham fee. Super kanja bugala nire. The super kanja is gonna be very quick and yummy. Okay. So yeah, how are you guys doing? So I'm gonna use fresh okra and yeah, the the other part of the okra is already been cut and frozen. I bought it like that. And then I like to use the fresh one that you have to cut by yourself as well. I never tried the pot, the cut and frozen one, but today I'm trying it. But I like to buy this, this one that I have to cut by myself. So yeah. You can cut it all if you want before you can start your cooking but I'm just so in a hurry I'm so hungry so so I'm not going to cook it but I'm not going to cook it why am I going to cook it I'm not 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 going to cook it Mesti dah nere tu, abang hamun nere tu, bang na, abang mana ham nere tu, nere tu buah na, jadi sena jian sabi, makoy rahas, and then what jian wan? Jemawal ye, jian wan ye, tujuh ratus lima. Ini ada doa nak buku masa ni lagi buku lagi buku. Kami. Macam yang sari sari mukjami. Mana ni ada bosoh ye. Dah muka anggal aku koye si. Ada. That's netesu. If you don't have netesu, you don't have to worry. I'll see what it's called in English and I'll put it in the video. But if you don't have it, don't worry. It's just gonna add extra strong African flavor to it that I like. But if you don't like very strong African flavor or something, don't worry about it. Can escape that part. So good netesu. Jarum la koyre. So I'm going to get you, 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 I'm
So now you see, you put your chili. This is the other part of the okra that I got that is frozen, but it's fresh okra. And it's also, it's been chopped very small, but I'm not gonna put it now, I'll wait later. Kanye be Kanye wa kan la vinko da gye wa pare frusko. Unko da gyo seo. So duma kosi seo la de. Unko da mea khaa kan. All of this is the face and the crumbs. I'm not gonna put it now too. They're all gonna wait little. Yi yep duma kosi de ho dum lege. Mea khaa kyo te. Lege sop le bek. Nye de tubere ngla si nyo desi. This ones are gonna wait later. Now it's the front and the netted. No, sorry, the onions and the netted should have to come now. And then we get in the tea, the welcome. So yeah, this super kanya is all gonna be cooked live. I'm not gonna edit nothing, just so you see how quick it is to cook it. You don't have to cook super kanja all day. Even if you are using super kanja with meat, if you are cooking super kanja with meat, you still don't have to cook it all day. Depends what type of meat you're using, but if it's the normal meat here, they quite they cook quite fast because they're very soft.
I was supposed to put it earlier on, but it's fine. Normally I put it together with the okra, but it's fine. It's gonna cook. It doesn't take long to cook. It's healthier and then the other one that not very healthy. I'm gonna put this chili there. This is the leftover chili that I have in the fridge, uh, in the freezer. Okay, so um.
So I got this palm oil here that my friend got for me. From I think it's from Leap. Someone selling it. Who is in Leap? A Gambian woman. This is the good palm oil. Well, the tasty one from Africa. This one is the one that they said is healthier. Because it's, I don't know what, what, what. Can't be bothered using that one alone. Don't even bother finding break on the comment section about the palm oil. Anyway, you can find a break there if you want. I'm still gonna enjoy my super candy. Now you put it higher so it can so the water can finish and you're done. See how it's bringing water already. This giant avocado. Tomorrow, that's what I'm gonna have. I sometimes make avocado and an egg omelette for dinner or lunch or whatever you call it. And I'm happy with that. If you guys want me to do a video for that, let me know. I don't want to edit the video here. So now you just make it higher so it can so the water can finish. I don't want to edit the video because I want to show you how long it takes me to cook it. That's why I don't want to end the video. But it's gonna finish soon. Let me tell you, I don't want to go on. So I talk to people kind of go. No, I talk it. What are you going to do? Our mental health, the NHS, and people who work at businesses like that. So I'm going to end the
see the the soup is almost ready very soon it's gonna be soft it's gonna be the water will be finishing soon you don't have to put the face early i put the face early because i'm just in a hurry and i'm hungry so honey. but right now is when you should put the fish and the prawns because they don't take long to cook you don't have to overcook that but they'll still be fine it will be fine soon if the water is finished soon smelling so nice the smell of the chili the smell of everything just the smell of spokanja alone people
I'm gonna take the salt for until I said less to make more salt. It's almost ready now. Let me tell you for it. You can put more palm oil if you want, but I don't want too much palm oil in it. Your typical super kind you will have more palm oil for a lot of Gambian like a lot of palm oil. Especially if you are eating it with fufu, then you can take it out right now. Because with fufu, you don't need to cook it too, too soft. You see what I was saying now? All the fish is all melted there. It's all dis it all disappeared because I put it early. So you don't have to put your fish on prawns early. You can wait till, like when I told you guys that you should put it that time. So I definitely don't put it in the pot. Oh, yeah, because um, you don't see the time in the pot. Okay, I'm going to use Okay, I'm to put it. Yes, sir. Woman, I could do up to box. I don't to do up to box. It's just by air. It's ready now. You can taste your salt again. Perfect. I'll just put a little bit more. I know some of you can find a great thing and I'm putting too much salt. It's not it's just the camera paper. I don't salt my rice or anything. Which many Gambians do salt their rice. Now the supokanja is ready. You can see. You see? Everything is ready. It's just the rice to be finished now. When the rice is finished, soon, that's us done. So now the supokanja is ready. The rice is nearly finished. This is your supokanja. This is how you cook it. You can see. It normally takes me 30 minutes, but today it takes a little longer because I use the frozen uh, okra. So the frozen okra add more water to it. That's why it takes me even about, this is about four, nearly 40 minutes now, about 40 minutes now. But normally it's 30 minutes or even less when I use the fresh okra. And I just put 
even less water. I think it's because I was using the frozen okra, so I didn't know how much water I have to put because I normally don't use the frozen okra that is chopped and frozen. No, even the um, I mean the like the one I showed you guys. Even the other one that is frozen and chopped, the but it is chopped big big pieces like the one I chopped earlier on. I also hardly ever will really use that simply because I love my super kanja with fresh okra. I know it's more hard work to chop them. But I, I, I don't know if you see how I was chopping it with a chopping board. You just pile like four or five and just slice them. It's quicker that way, but it's yummier and healthier that way when you use the fresh one. So now it's done. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to feel myself eating. Depends if I'm in the mood for that today. But I promise you guys I was going to video this. So I had to. That's me going to have my dinner soon, people. This is around 5 o'clock now. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys again soon. If I don't video me eating, I'm going to video when I'm dusting the food, when the rice is ready. But yeah, this is your super kanja ready now. If you're going to have it with your fufu, this is your super kanja ready. I explained if you're going to cook it with meat, you have to boil the meat first. Put the same water as the meat, not the water should be more, no. Especially if it's western meat, meat from abroad here, they're soft, they're easier to cook than organic African meat. So you just boil the meat for like 20 minutes until the water is coming down and the meat is softer. Then you add all your okra and all your onions and ingredients, you know, and just continue cooking until it's like this, this kind of consist consistency, what's the word? This kind of thickness. Can't speak and I'm so hungry. Ooh, look at that best. I think that's from the mackerel from the tin. Right guys, I'm gonna see you guys again when I'm when I'm dressing the food. Guys, here is my super kanja ready. I'm going to eat now. Yeah, enjoy if you tried it. Let me know if you tried it, and I'm gonna enjoy mine and I'm gonna see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching. Man, guys, them like some super kanja. Now they get banana. Yo, get some more yaksi palad. I have all this super kanja all for myself. See you guys soon. Thank you for watching.